Hello and welcome to today's Tips, Tricks, and Best Practices for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Today's topic is how to create a dashboard. Now a lot of you may be wondering, what's a dashboard? And two, why do I need to create a personal dashboard when I have so many system dashboards out there that our system administrator has set up? I'm going to go through today what a dashboard is and why it's so important to create one that's your very own. The reason why a dashboard is so important is because it will allow you to group information together that's very like information. And what I mean by that is data that you can pull in from those views and charts that you've created in, advance, uh, in CRM and you can pull them right into a dashboard. And you can view them all at once instead of having to go all the different advanced finds and charts that you've created that are in different sections. You can view them all on one screen. That's why dashboards are so important. So let's jump into CRM and I'm going to show you how to create a dashboard. A dashboard is really three steps. And those three steps are creating the advanced find or the view that the data is going to be represented by a chart or by a list within the dashboard. So as we covered in our last how-to video, you can navigate to the advanced find right up here in the upper right-hand corner. It's going to pop open your advanced find, and then you create your views. For the purposes of today's how-to video, I've already created a group of personal views for the opportunity dashboard that we're going to be creating today. But just as a reminder, this is how you get to advanced find. And you can set up your views right in here. Just click the Save As when you're done. The second step to creating a dashboard is the chart section. So I'm going to quickly show you how to create a chart right in CRM. So if you go over here and you just you navigate to one of your personal views, and we're going to create one off of opportunities closed in the last 30 days. So I'm going to show you how the chart section appears. It's going to appear in this little jut out. If you just click on the chart, it's going to expand. And then to create a new chart, you just click on this plus sign. And don't worry about naming the chart. Once you set up the chart, it's going to name itself. And then you can change it later if you want. Then you just set your axis. So we're going to set the, the series here. So select the field. And we're going to go with actual revenue. And we're going to have this broken down in the horizontal section by the owner. So we're looking at the actual revenue of opportunity close in the last 30 days and how much each revenue all our salespeople have accomplished in those last 30 days for their closed opportunities. As you can see here in the top, your name has already appeared, actual revenue by owner. You can just add a little caveat to the end of this. You just put in close last 30 days. And then once you have everything set, you can click on save. One thing I do want to touch on, if you want to change how the chart looks, just click on this little chart symbol here. You can change it to a bar chart, an area chart, a scatter plot or a line, a pie chart, and a funnel chart. So let's just change this to a horizontal bar chart. We're going to do a stacked bar. So this is going to show us all our revenue for each of our sales reps. Now that we have everything set, we just click on Save. And then once this symbol pops up, you know that it's saved. So then you just click the X button, and it's closed it out for you. Now your chart is ready to be viewed, and more importantly, ready to be added to the dashboard. So let's jump on over to the dashboard section. I'm going to show you how to add a view that you created in advanced find and the charts off of those views. So we go to our main navigation, we go to sales, then we go to dashboards. And within dashboards, just take a minute to pop up because it's bringing up all those different dashboards that your system administrator has created, plus any personal ones that you've created. So it takes a little bit to bring that information up. And now that I mentioned it, your system admin has probably set up some great charts for you, great dashboards and charts for you. However, 
making them your own and making the data represented in a chart and a dashboard that represents what you want to see is going to allow you to get the most out of CRM. So if it's a personal dashboard, that's going to mean the most to you, but not necessarily work for a large group of people, a personal dashboard is going to be the best way to go because it doesn't pay for the system administrator to create it. You can create it and share it with people that would need that dashboard as well. So from our dashboard section, we would click on New. And here we're going to get a large number of options of different dashboard layouts that we can create. I always recommend staying with a three-column regular dashboard because it gives you the most amount of spaces that you can fill. The other ones are nice, but they only give you like five or even four sometimes. And you can change the size. I'm going to show you how to go behind the scenes change the size of each of these sections so it looks even better, but you get the most amount of it, the most sections for your dashboard. So we're going to click on three column regular dashboard and click on create. And this will just load up the editing section. We're going to name our dashboard demo dashboard. And then here are your main symbols. Here's your chart, adding a chart, adding a list, and then there's an inserting an iframe and a web resource. We'll cover that in a later how to. For the chart, you simply click on the chart symbol. Then you're going to set your entity. So for our, our scenario today, we're going to look at opportunities. A view that we created was opportunities closed in the last 30 days. And then we did actual revenue by owner closed in the last 30 days. Click Add, and there's our chart. Now for a list, if you don't want to have a chart represented by the data, but you want to have just the list, the actual field of the advanced find to show, just click on insert list. Now all you're setting is the record type, so opportunities, and then your view that you created or a system view, and you can do opportunities created in the last seven days, click add. Now one thing that might seem weird is there's no data showing in this. That's always going to be the case when you're adding a list. The data won't show until you complete the dashboard, save and close it. Then when you navigate back to the dashboard, that information will show. And then you just repeat these same steps for each section. Now, if you want to change the size of this, let's say this chart, we want to make this bigger. Hold down the Shift key and then hit the arrow button to the right. As you can see here, it moves to the right and moved our view down because it took over that spot. Now if we want to shrink it again, we just hold down the shift and move it left. Now it will shrink again. If this was a vertical bar chart and we might want to make it taller, we hold down shift again and we click down. And then we can change the size vertically of our dashboard. So that's a way to change these and then you can also move these dashboards around the screen as well. Move them to where you'd like them to be. And that's just simply by clicking on them and clicking arrow, the arrow buttons without holding down the shift key. So once you're done, you click save and close. And then once you've done that, you'll usually need to hit the dashboards button to bring it back to the main screen. Click your drop down view and go down to My Dashboards and click on the Demo Dashboard. And now you can see all your views and charts that you've created for your dashboard. And that's how easy it is to create a dashboard of your very own right in CRM. I want to thank you for attending today's how-to video on creating dashboards, especially personal dashboards. If you're interested in learning more, you can navigate to the LedgeView Partners website below or contact us at LedgeView Partners with the information listed on your screen. On behalf of myself and LedgeView Partners, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.